Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, NBAA base will require vaccination for trade show attendance. Also, Santa Clara County files petition with EPA, and Collins Aerospace will acquire Flight Aware. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Although the NBAA base is still happening, there is a new requirement. If you're planning on attending, the trade show is requiring attendees to get the COVID-19 vaccine. For decades, the aviation industry has brought people together and transported them forward safely and responsibly, NBAA President and CEO Ed Bolin said. How they will enforce this requirement is yet to be determined, but NBAA promises a more defined policy 30 days before the show. Vaccine mandates have become all the rage lately and have been adopted throughout the Las Vegas area. For the Las Vegas Raiders games, CES and the National Association of Broadcasters annual show. However, by adopting a vaccine requirement, the association anticipates mask wearing will resolve as a personal choice for attendees and exhibitors. This is an exciting time for business aviation, he goes on to say. Flight activity is high, transactions are strong, and innovations are coming to the market at an accelerated pace. And BAA Base is going to be a great show that will move the business aviation industry to new heights. It is hard to say how this may affect attendance and participation, but we expect to hear a lot more in the next day or two. We will keep you posted. After the break, Astra Space launches small rocket over the weekend but it didn't quite make it. Details after these messages. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call around the patch. So let's start with Astra Space launch rocket in Alaska over the weekend, the company's first since going public. But the rocket failed to achieve its goal of making orbit. Astra founder and CEO Chris Kemp says that one engine shut down about one second into the rocket's first flight. It was obviously not successful at putting anything in orbit, but it was a flight where we learned a tremendous amount, he said. Delta takes action to increase vaccination rate. Delta employees have received a memo from CEO Ed Bastian stating that unvaccinated employees would be required to wear masks indoors following new spikes in COVID-19 cases, effective immediately. He noted that 75% of employees were vaccinated. Also something to keep in mind, starting on September 12th, any U.S. employee who is not fully vaccinated will be required to take a COVID test each week. Beginning on November 1st, unvaccinated employees enrolled in Delta's health care plan will be subject to a $200 monthly surcharge. Effective on September 30th, COVID pay protection will only be provided to fully vaccinated individuals who are experiencing a breakthrough infection. Dawn Aerospace conducts flight on its suborbital space plane. Startup Dawn Aerospace has completed five test flights of its Mark II Aurora space plane. 
which is designed to fly up to 60 miles above Earth's surface. The suborbital space plane took its first flight at the Glen Tanner Aerodrome in New Zealand, South Island in July, in order to focus on a review of the airframe and avionics. Flights were maxed out at 3,400 feet. However, this allowed the team to capture extensive data enabling further R&D on the capability of Mark II, according to CEO Stefan Powell. Boeing, Qatar and Murray Air Force celebrate new aircraft. Boeing and the U.S. Air Force and Qatar Amiri Air Force had a shared celebratory moment in naming and rollout of the Qatar's advanced F-15 and F-15QA. Later this year, the first F-15QAs with ferry to Qatar after pre-delivery pilot training, Boeing will establish and operate an air crew and maintenance training center for the QEAF at Al Udaid Air Base in Qatar through 2024. Boeing also plans to provide spares in the country and logistics support after delivery. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now, as we turn to the rest of the news, the County of Santa Clara, alongside a coalition of community groups represented by Earth Justice, filed a petition calling on the EPA to take steps to eliminate lead pollution from aircraft across the U.S. The petition follows a study commissioned by the County of Santa Clara on lead exposure, risk for 13,000 children living near Reed Hillview Airport in East San Jose, which is located in the heart of Silicon Valley. Various anti-airport political factions and property developers have been trying to get the airport closed down for many years. This appears to be their latest weapon. The study reportedly claims that children living downwind of the airport had blood lead levels increases on par with those detected during the peak of the Flint water crisis. The anti-aviation factions paid little notice to the extraordinary GA efforts underway to develop unleaded aviation fuels, and most specifically, the progress made in recent months. Last Tuesday, at its first public meeting after the release of the Reed Hillview lead study, the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors voted to take all available actions immediately. After these messages, Collins Aerospace will acquire FlightAware. Details after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. Collins Aerospace has signed a definitive agreement to acquire privately held FlightAware. Closure of the acquisition is subject to completion of customary conditions and regulatory approvals. Following closing, Flightware will join Collins' information management services portfolio within the company's avionics strategic business unit. Financial terms of the agreement were not disclosed. Global connectivity now shapes and impacts every segment of aviation. FlightAware is the recognized leader in data collection 
analytics, and customer experience, which will help Collins unlock the full power of the connected ecosystem of our customers, said Dave Newsma, Collins Aerospace Head of Avionics. FlightAware's flight tracking and data platform, the largest in the world, has the potential to deliver new capabilities and innovations across our entire business. The world's aerospace companies and aircraft operators are looking to digital aviation to provide the next revolution in aviation efficiency and reliability, said Daniel Baker, CEO of FlightAware. And we are excited to join Collins Aerospace and Raytheon Technologies at this pivotal time to continue to lead that revolution at an even broader scale. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.